Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Fadali and this video is about the iframes in the HTML. So what is the iframe? An iframe is used to display a web page within a web page. An inline iframe is used to embed another document within the current HTML document. That's it. So let's just have a look at the syntax of iframe. You have to write the iframe, then you have to provide the source, then you have to give it a title. All right. Then you can also specify the size of your iframe. All right. So without just wasting your time, go to the editor and see how can we write this iframe in the HTML file. So I have just written the structure of the HTML document just to save the time. So I just want to add uh, iframe directly without you know anything else. You have to write the source id dot html. You have to provide the width and height here and you can also provide the title. I have to provide the title here. All right, this uh, is the iframe. So in title, you have to write the description of your iframe because it helps the screen reader. Let's just save the code and see how the things work. Save it, run it. Okay, now you can see that in iframe, okay, I use the ID file, HTML file that I have created in the last video. So I can also use the other files that I have uh, created in my recent videos. Okay, it is a classic I can run it again so this is how it works and uh, you can give a url here let me just give it a url of the google here but it probably won't work i will tell you the reason you can see the error here that google refused to connect most of the website that they don't allow their website to be used inside the iframe of another website if i just try another website w3 schools i think it may work no it's not working because it refused to connect and if i just try another website here wikipedia maybe it work now you can see that wikipedia is allowing us to use it inside the iframe so we can use the wikipedia inside the iframe that i have created here now you can change the width and the size of iframe by the property of the width and the height attribute 500 refresh this thing again all right so this is how you can change the size of your iframe okay you can see the kind of borders here and it is kind of annoying thing if you just want to get rid of these borders all you need to do uh, is to write the style and the style you have to border none okay now you can see that we don't have any border so this is how you can use the iframe okay so this is all for this video and if you really find it helpful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and bye bye <laughs>